What is up, YouTube? It's Jay Coffey. Tapping back in, man, with an update as the Buffalo Bills hit the field at camp. Jump in the comments with all your thoughts. Let's talk Buffalo Bills. What an exciting time as we get closer to preseason and then regular season. But Demar Hamlin, quite the reception for him as he takes the field. And it, it, it almost feels like that scary, quite frankly, terrifying day was eons ago and now he's said to be a-okay good to go you know he's been checked out he's good money and as we saw just the other day with Bronny James having a similar situation you know at a basketball practice you see Demar Hamlin actually address the situation by throwing up this tweet prayers out to Bronny and his family and asking for everyone you know to put that good energy and love and support out there for Bronny and his family just like you know everyone rallied around Demar Hamlin not just in Buffalo you know the uh the entire sports world it was again just straight up a sh shocking scary situation and it's just crazy for Demar uh just days before he takes the field at camp here for that to happen with Bronny um hopefully everything turns out good with Bronny as the only update we've really heard is that he's in stable condition tap in and let me know what you guys think about all that and as for Demar Hamlin I thought last year he you know uh because let's not forget with safety we got the dynamic duo back yet again this season which I myself and many others did not think was going to happen with everything Jordan Poyer was saying you know was indicating about New York State taxes being high and different things and there was all these reports he was being linked to the Miami Dolphins Micah Hyde the injuries last year it just didn't seem like it was going to happen but yet they're back again you know and I can't wait as we get closer to the regular season to see that we have all three of these guys healthy you know the best safety duo in the league Poyer and Hyde and then Hamlin you know who prior to that terrifying time really was doing a phenomenal job stepping up and playing safety you know in uh Hyde's place with Hyde being out and we know Jordan Poyer missed some games last season as well and that was a big theme last year with the Buffalo Bills that guys would go down in the next guy uh, injuries on both sides of the ball we saw a lot of injuries you know and the next guy would step up and do the damn thing and it just showed that this Bills team, which we already know has a lot of talent, had a lot of depth, a lot of momentum. And, um, you know, I'm pumped, man. And as for the Bills, just kind of overall, you see a uh, outline, so uh, shall we say, of uh, when Coach McDermott addressed the media here, put up by this platform built in Buffalo basically going over some things about digs, which we'll get to in just one second. You know, McDermott is saying he's in a good place, you know, where there's been all these discussions about Stefan Diggs since the way we saw the season end and Diggs reaction and all that. Um, again, we'll address that just again in a moment. Um, you know, the team's got a lot of work to do. Tommy Doyle's a full goal. Um, Hines, that was a big loss. Coach said, man, that I, again, just what two days ago a jet ski accident like ah, man terrible thing I hope Hines is okay first and foremost but he's another guy an explosive player who we got via a trade last year and I was like man I hope we really utilize this guy this year and you know he's out for the season um Hamlin of course is a full goal uh Gabe Davis a lot of confidence in Gabe the coach says Gabe was getting a lot of heat last year as you know the pr year prior that heartbreaking end in the playoffs in the divisional round versus the Chiefs the big four touchdown game you know expectations were really up there for Gabe Davis and I don't want to say he disappointed but I don't know I felt like he could have came through in the clutch a lot better so hopefully we see more from Gabe Davis this year no time stamp on the middle linebacker job excited to have Leonard Floyd full trust and confidence in Von Miller who you know we just saw is on the active but physically unable to perform list 
Um, Josh Allen, a man of the people, and ideally wants a middle linebacker to call plays, but open to other options. So I don't know, you know, that's just a rough outline of what McDermott talked about. And let's keep it a buck in these, you know, sessions with the media. We know a lot of coaches, this is a game of chess out there. And, you know, it's not like they're going all the way in discussing all these things. But what I saw from Coach McDermott and where we're at in the offseason and everything, my take was kind of more or less that, you know, he, he's ready for another year of Buffalo Bills football, ready to put in that work. And, you know, we're just getting going, you know. And Stefan Diggs, you see this message everyone took notice that he put up on the gram yesterday leading into camp today as the once again, the way the season ended, a lot of the cryptic messages and tweets that Diggs put up since the end of the season and you know him kind of taking some time away a, a brief sabbatical or whatever you know there's been a lot of questions and I myself have just always felt like Diggs is a competitor he can be very emotional and you know think about it the way the season ended with what happened to DeMar Hamlin the way the Bills just kind of seemed like they ran out of momentum and gas, just exhausted, you know, leading into that Cincinnati game. I, I always kind of feel like this, like that was heartbreaking for us fans. So imagine these guys that go out there and bust their ass and put it all on the line like Stefan Diggs. You can only imagine the way they feel that, you know what I mean? And Diggs has stated here that some people do dirt on his name some people gave him his flowers but it was all a garden and he grew from it and you know I really don't think that this message is cryptic as that's the way a lot of the sports media is looking at this like another cryptic message from Diggs and it just kind of feels like Diggs is saying hey some people ished on me some gave me my flowers I'm learning and living every day and uh, let's go back out there for another year of football. You know what I mean? Let me know what you take from it and think of that. But check out this analysis of Bill's um, draft pick, Dalton Kincaid, tight end. And this is what I'm most excited about. I'd have to say, if anything, at this point in time, leading into this next year of Buffalo Bills football is having as we already got a, a great tight end in Dawson Knox, in my opinion, a guy like Dalton Kincaid that there's just been nonstop talk about this dude watching the film, um, you know, watching him compete against some pretty good sc schools and just his athletic athletic abilities. And then you see analysis like this saying, you know, this is a guy that, um, you know, a lot of the sports gurus, football gurus out there and guys that really keep up on college football and draft prospects are like saying hey Kincaid think of a, a rookie Travis Kelsey and I mean that's quite the analysis that's very exciting and just think about the possibilities with our receiver core with Diggs and Davis and you know all, all the other guys we got and like I said then having two great tight ends out there on the field Knox Kincaid the different formations and schemes we can come up with, man, like, I just can't wait. I'd have to say, um, you know, that this Kincaid is, is, is what I'm most excited about. Like, I'm truly pumped, man. This can really bring our offense to another level. So jump in the comments and let me know how you feel about Kincaid as well. And, uh, you know, what you're most excited about or keeping an eye out when it comes to to this Buffalo Bills team. Now, a couple more things to tap into before we close this out. Delvin Cook, been all these reports where he's going to go or whatever, and the Bills have been a team that's been mentioned many a times as his brother plays with the Bills, and you see he's basically saying he's still open to that and excited for it to happen. I don't read much into that, you know. Like, of course, it's his brother. You feel me? Like, you got to... When you go over these sports headlines, a lot of this ish can just be filler, you know, where sometimes people read too much into and I'm not reading too much into that. But in closing, um, this guy here, Del Reed, right? He's one of the creators of Bill's Mafia. And 
when I see him throw this up, as you see at camp, this walkway, you know, where it says Bills Mafia and everything like that with, you know, the Bills official franchise having their stamp all over it now. You see this guy again, he's like uh, the godfather of Bills Mafia saying still surreal, you know, when he sees the Bills using this little thing of ours. And, you know, I, I still kind of feel like that's some BS in a sense, man. What does everyone else think? You know, like this was a thing created by the fans, you know, it gained so much momentum and we saw players. This is way back when Nick Barnett would, was with the Bills, if I recall correctly. I think Barnett was one of the first guys to kind of give life into the Bills Mafia thing from a player standpoint. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, he said something in a press conference and whatnot. And, you know, it's grown so much over the years and it's known all around right now. And again, it was created by some fans and uh, it's just the best fan base in football. And then, you know, you've seen the Bills organization say, hey, uh, now we're going to um, take that and, you know, trademark it our own and everything like that. And, you know, it, it's like, I just, I don't know. I love, of course, the Buffalo Bills, just like everyone else else out there in Bills Mafia and just want to see the Bills get that ring and it's exciting times we're living through right now you know but it's just kind of shitty in a sense to see the corporate greed side of things where they're like oh fans built this well now it's ours you know because the fans did it uh including this guy Del Reed he raised so much money um doing fundraisers for people with cancer and different ish like that through the Bills Mafia name and selling t-shirts and everything. And then the Bills just kind of take it. I don't know. But you see, he says, it's still surreal um, to see the team using what he helped create. And I've seen him, you know, address this before and everything like that. And, you know, I've, I, I feel like if I remember correctly, he just kind of like was, ah, it is what it is and all. But I'm sure it still kind of got a sting a little bit or, or whatever the case may be. I don't know. What do you think about it, everyone out there in Bill's Mafia land? And with that being said, I'm going to close this one out. Thank you so much for tuning in. What an exciting time getting closer to week one of NFL football to the Bills back out there on that quest to get a Super Bowl ring. You know, starting to get those butterflies, man. You know, the greatest time of the year football season so tap in again share your thoughts let's talk about it all sub up to the channel and stay tuned for more it's jay coffee talk talking music news sports current events life and much more and i'm gone y'all peace